what I would like to know today is if you could talk for hours about one topic, what would it be? So personally, two things, I, just, I included two, but I just want to know one from you. If you could talk for hours about one topic, I can, I, I can talk about physics, and I can talk Awesome, thanks so much. Really appreciate that. So, some FYI's for you. We've been talking about work to power to now we're on energy. So I really think it's important that we talk about energy sources and non I'm sorry, non renewable and renewable energy sources and how they work. So Objectives of this lesson, you will understand the differences between non-renewable and renewable energy sources. You will understand the consequences of climate change and its effects on the, on the world that we live in. And lastly, you will be able to solve and manipulate the equation for efficiency. Questions, comments, concerns before we get into the good stuff? Awesome. So, sources of energy. All forms of energy are stored in different ways and in, and in different sources that we use it. Oh, no, actually, yeah. We only have a, a uh, certain amount of drinkable water. Very good, actually. So, <clears throat> one good example for you. So most CPS schools, we, we know that they're ancient, right? So back in the day, how would they heat them? Coal. There would be actually somebody who lived at the school, and their one job. They had one job. <laughs> was to keep the school warm during winter months. Um, I found it interesting on my way moving to Illinois, driving up here, fields upon fields upon fields of wind turbines, and that is how Illinois gets the majority other electricity. And then where I grew up, our main energy source. Also, the, who can think of the largest reservoir slash dam in the entire country that we've discussed before? Named after a president. Hoover Dam. Hoover Dam. It's half in Nevada, half in Arizona. Sadly, Lake Mead is not far from drying up, which means millions of people are going to be without power. Remember those pictures I showed you? Kind of sad. So, everybody good here? Yeah, definitely. That line? Yeah. And then I've thought to myself, just being the engineer from mine that I have, well, if our oceans are rising, why don't we purify that water and say build a pipeline and start kind of filling it up again? What do you do with all the salt? Exactly. What do you do with all that salt? But there's tons and tons and tons of it that we use at home every day. What are, what are some places that you use natural gas in your home? Stove. Stove. Where else? Water heater. Water heater. Where else? Furnace. Furnace. Where else? Some homes have a gas dryer. One thing that is really, really, really important to know about, how many of you have ever heard of the Chernobyl power plant in Ukraine? Huh? Part of it. So, can y'all think of any other natural disasters that have been caused by non-renewable energy? process, the process of a few of these different types. <clears throat> so you have your energy source, the steam, wind, or water that turns a turbine, that then goes to a generator that converts the movement. <clears throat> so, talking about energy sources, how efficient 
are they? How efficient are they? You've seen this equation before, but think about all of the energy that is in fuel. The majority of it we don't even get to use. But this small little section that actually goes to customers, a small section of that is used to power stations, and a few of it's lost in transmission. So how efficient really is it? So efficiency is how we determine that. So efficiency is equals useful energy output divided by energy input times 100%. So at this time, if you would please, pull out that little cheat sheet that Ms. Nomery and I made you. Perfect, can I borrow this real quick? Thank you. This one. If you don't have one, we'll be happy to get one for you. So, can I? With yours in your hand, will you please tell me the unit for efficiency? Okay. Unit is percent. It will always, always, always be a percent. So, we're going to do three problems. I'm going to do one. We're going to do one together. And then your exit ticket for the day is one problem. Uh, at the end of that problem, I have myself or Ms. Sanabria check. Check that, that problem. And you are welcome to put your notebook up. Go. Go. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> So, what is the efficiency of a machine that requires 120 joule in So this one's going to be a little bit more complicated, but it's okay. It's okay. A planet Zorg, now I do not know what a Zorg is, but a Zorgian does 300 newton of useful work by using his work top. Again, don't know. If he works at an efficiency of 25%, what is the input of his work needed? So we've already said our first step is given. So what do we know? E equals 
25%. How does everyone know? What else do we know? We have our 25% efficiency. 350 newtons of work. Of useful work, so that would be our output. So step two is we solve for our unknown. What's my unknown? Cheyenne. Uh, input. input. Step three is my formula, which is still going to be E equals output over input times 100%. Or that's all. So, what do I need to list first? We're on step where we're solving. So what do I need to list first out of all of my information? You put in the given as the formula. Perfect. So what am I going to write first? 25%. 25%. Well done. So 25%. Sorry, my markers are. Twenty-five percent equals now what? Sam, what am I going to put? Where am I going to put it? On the top. Three hundred and fifty newton. So instead of putting an I here, is it okay if I put an X? Are we more familiar with X than an I? Yeah. All right, so let's do it over x. Brianna, what am I going to do now to solve this? Well, what can I do to get this by itself? I have the 100, though. This is already a percent. I'm going to multiply by x on both sides. Times x, times x, cancels, cancels. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and convert this to a decimal. What would the decimal be? Chris? If this were a decimal, what would it be? This 25%, if this were a decimal, what would it be? 0.25, exactly. 0.25x, because remember we're multiplying, we multiply x on both sides, equals 350 newtons. Now what? Luigi, what do I do next? Hmm? What do I do next? Divide? 0.25 divided by 0.25. Don't forget your point. Therefore, x equals what? Plug into your calculator. Abby.